Hey guys, this is one of the most fuel efficient and affordable car in its class. The 2015 BMW 320i sedan in jet black. The BMW 3 Series is a compact executive car manufactured by the German automaker BMW way back since 1975 and it is BMW's best selling model which accounts up to 30% of total revenue for BMW each year. With the 320i, you can either select from the rear wheel drive version or the all wheel drive model, which is the X drive model for about another two grand. The model we have here today is a rear wheel drive model. Even though this is a 3 series model, it has all the extravagancy of a luxury model. When it comes to performance, the 2015 BMW 320i features a 2 liter 4 cylinder engine that pushes out 180 horsepower. This enables the 320i to accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just under 7.1 seconds. Now the model we have here today is also loaded with the driver assisted package, the premium package, and the sport package. The driver assisted package includes the rear view camera and the park distance control. The premium package includes the smart keyless access entry, universal garage door opener, moon roof, auto dimming mirrors, and the satellite radio with one year subscription. And the sport package comes with the 18 inch performance wheels, the chrome exterior trim, sport seats, sport suspension, sport steering wheel, and the anthracite headliner. Everything else I mentioned throughout this video will come as a standard feature. Now here's the key fact of the car. On there we have the unlock, lock, and the trunk release button. On the back side we also have another button which we can press to release the manual key. Now let's go ahead and unlock the car and take a closer look at the interior. The 320i again does come equipped with their smart keyless access entry so all you have to do is leave the keys in your pocket or purse. To unlock simply put your hand behind the handle and to lock simply touch right there. Here's a quick view of the interior. Interior come in complete black leather and the name is called Black Sensor Tech. To start the engine, all you have to do is push the foot down the brake and press the start button right here. Now to open the hood, there's going to be a lever down here. All we have to do is pull this lever out twice and this will completely open the hood. Under the hood, the 2015 320i has a 2 liter BMW twin power turbo inline 4 cylinder engine with high precision direct injection. The 4 cylinder engine pushes out 180 horsepower at about 5000 rpm and 200 pound foot of torque at about 1300 rpm. It is a 8 speed Steptronic automatic transmission with sport and manual shift modes and adaptive transmission control. The 320i can accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just under 7.1 seconds and its top speed is electronically limited to 130 miles per hour. As for fuel economy, the 2015 320i gets 24 miles per gallon in the city, 36 miles per gallon on the highway, and when combined it gets 28 miles per gallon. Gas mileage will vary depending on which driving mode the vehicle is in, eco, comfort, or sports mode. To further enhance gas mileage, there's also the auto start and stop function. When activated, the auto start and stop function will shut off the engine when it comes to a complete stop, such as red lights or any other idle situation, and immediately after you lift your foot off the brake, the engine will automatically restart. Up front, there's the rain sensing power intermittent windshield wiper with adjustable speed. Moving down, we have the iconic BMW double kidney grill in black with chrome outlining trim. Parking assists are also built into the front bumper to notify the driver whenever the vehicle gets close to hitting any objects. And for enhanced visibility, there's the halogen high and low beam headlights along with the halogen freeform front fog lights. Moving over to the side, there's the body color side view mirror with integrated LED turn signal, power adjustable feature including power folding, and the auto dimming function. The 320i sedan comes standard with 17 inch wheels, however with the sport package, this model comes with the 18 inch alloy wheels with mixed performance tires. Behind the wheels, we have the 4 wheel ventilated disc brakes with anti-lock braking system, dynamic stability control, start off assistant, brake drying, and brake standby features. All 4 wheels are equipped with the tire pressure monitoring system. 
To the back, there's the brake light behind the rear windshield. Moving down, we have the attractive tail lamp with the brake light and turn signal light. Parking assist and the rear view camera is also built into the rear. These are both excellent safety features to help the driver in backing out and parking. And lastly, further down, there's the single chrome exhaust tip. As for the gas tank, just make sure the car is unlocked. To open, all you have to do is simply push in. And to lock, simply push back. And it is recommended by BMW to use unleaded premium gas only. Now let's see what we have inside the trunk. To open, simply press that button. And there's your rear view camera. Trunk look very spacious. Inside, as you can see, we have a whole bunch of trunk mats there. Over here, we have your user manual, and on top is a 12 volt car charger. Have hooks on both sides. And if we unlock this, we have your car battery. Under here, we have more storage compartments. And as a safety feature, if you ever happen to get yourself locked inside the trunk, you can simply pull this down to release yourself. Here's a quick view of the sunroof with the tilt function on. Looks pretty sporty overall. There's also two roof bolts on both sides. These allows us to mount roof racks on top to carry extra luggage or accessories. And here's a view of the sunroof fully open. And we're back on the inside. Here we have the three spoke sport leather wrap steering wheel. On the left hand side we have your cruise control, BMW logo in the middle with the horn. Over here we have your audio volume control, voice command and Bluetooth phone answering option. Behind the steering wheel we have your windshield wiper control, up to increase down to decrease intensity control in the middle and simply pull this whole thing towards us to activate the windshield washer. Press the button on the end to leave the windshield wiper on automatic. On this side we have your left and right turn signal, push up for right, down for left and simply pull this whole thing towards us to activate the high beam. And the button on the end here is used to control the different display on the odometer. Driver air vent. Starting with the left side we have the fog light control, headlamps control, and odometer dimmer. And way below here we have a small storage compartment. Driver sun visor with a small credit card holder on the side. Also have a small piece of mirror with light on top which turns on and off according to the open and closure of the uh, mirror. You can also move this over to the side for better sun coverage. And here's your beautiful navigation and audio display. And right below that as you notice there's a slight wood trim in the middle which looks very nice. Two additional air vent in the middle we have the hazard light control on top and the door lock and unlock button at the bottom. Multimedia control that's where you insert your CD player and to control the volume simply twist the small knob on the side and press down on it to turn on or off. Dual AC heat climate control here we have two cup holder Inside here we have a 12 volt core torture and a spot for you to put some change. And to control the gear shift box, push your foot down the brake, press the button on the side, push up to put the car into reverse, and when you do so, the side mirror will also tilt down to give you a better view of the rear, 
and the rear view camera will automatically display on the navigation screen with guided lines. Both are really great safety features. Now do the same thing and push it down to put the car into drive. After that, push it over to the left to put it into manual mode. Then you can simply push up or down to change gears. To put the car back into park, simply press P on top. And over here, starting from the top, we have your traction control. And right below that, we have the different driving modes control. You can put the car into either sports mode, comfort mode, or eco pro mode. Now, when in the sports mode, you'll get a lot more power with a slight decrease in gas mileage. And as you move down to comfort and eco, you get an increase in gas mileage with a slight decrease in power. And there you see the auto start and stop feature with a slash on it, meaning it is currently off. Now you can press this small button right here, right on top of the engine start button, to turn it on or off. If the light is on, meaning it's on. And lastly down here we have your parking assist button. Manual hand emergency brake. And more wood trim in the middle there. Here's your BMW eye control. It is multi-directional. You can move it up, down, right, left, or you can also twist it around. And on top we have your different display selection from navigation to telephone, menu, media, or radio. Here's your navigation. As you can see I'm twisting it and it zooms in and out on the map. back and option button more storage space inside the middle armrest compartment here inside we also have an uh, mp3 input along with an auxiliary input to connect your mp3 player glove box compartment and all the way to the right as you can see there there's the trunk lock switch if you switch this over to the lock you will not be able to open the trunk from the inside And here's a complete view of the dash. Let me try to focus it for you. On top, we have your auto dimming rear view mirror. The rear view mirror also has built in universal garage door opener. You can simply input your garage door codes in there and use these three buttons to open and close your garage doors. Light controls on top. Right next to it, we have the SOS button. If you press this, you'll be automatically transferred to roadside assistance. And in the middle is your sunroof control. Now let's take a closer look at what we have on the driver's side door. Slight wood trim here. Four power window control. At the bottom, we have the window lock button. Moving on up, we have your side view mirror control. We also have a small button here used to control the folding and unfolding of the side view mirror. Side door compartment. BMW door seal. Brake and gas pedal. Trunk release button here. And your hood release lever. 10 way multiple seat adjustment with two memory settings for easy readjustment of the driver's seat. And here's a closer detailed look at the front seat. Front seat belt is very smooth and quiet. Handbar on top here. Now let's go into the back. We also have more wood trim on the back here with a power window control, side door compartment there. BMW door sealed again. Here's a quick view of the back seat. Sorry about the sun guys. Again I'm 5 foot 7 so this gives you a better idea of how much leg space you'll have.
quickly with the front for sitting in the back. Two additional air vent for the rear. And below that we have a 12 volt core torture. Back seat storage. Here we have two more cup holders. Seat belts also very smooth and quiet back here. Back seat also have the built-in latch system for you to securely hook down your baby seats. Light control on top. And on both sides we have the hand bar and a spot for you to hang your clothes. Alright guys, that's all for the day. Thanks everyone for watching. And as always, make sure to leave me comments and feedback as to what you think about this car below. For more future car reviews, go ahead and subscribe to this channel and remember to give our videos a thumbs up. Also, make sure to check out our official website and Facebook page for our everyday activity. Again, thanks everyone for watching and I'll see everyone in the next video review.